Does anyone else get that deep feeling of needing to go home? You're not alone. I get that feeling pretty often. I also sometimes get a feeling of wanting to escape. Like I'll have the surge to get into my truck and just drive. It's really weird. It's like a longing for a place I've never been to before. OMG yes. That's exactly it. Wanting to escape is exactly how it feels. But not knowing what I'm escaping from. It's just a need to get away. Ever since my mom passed away, home just doesn't feel like home no more. I do keep saying to myself that I wanna go home whenever I'm bored out of my mind, yet don't know where home is. Sorry for your loss dude. Sometimes when I'm really sad I say the words I want to go home over and over again and what I really mean is a place and a time in which I feel at home, and I know when that time is but of course it's completely impossible. Dang. I wish I could go home. Glad to know I'm not alone, homie. Thanks for saying what I was way too embarrassed to type out myself. When I'm really freaked out or upset I say I wanna go home too. I have no idea where I want to go so I usually just sit in the car. I feel this. I don't know where home is either, but I feel a strong connection to nature. When I get that deep longing feeling of home, it usually comes with thoughts of being in a little cabin in the mountains. Somewhere far away from all my worries and stress. Yes aim but mine is a cabin in the woods surrounded by snow. I think the Germans call this wanderlust. You haven't found what you need to make yourself feel at home yet. It does help to go on an adventure. German here. Wanderlust would be translated to wanderlust. Wanderlust is what you might have been hinting at. I've never heard any German use that term. Though. Only the English equivalent wanderlust. We have. However. This wonderful word Fernwell which seems to be unique to the German language. It describes an aching longing for faraway places, the urge to just get away from it all, to travel and to be somewhere else. I love and can relate to that word so much, it's wonderfully poetic. Legit. This is one of the biggest symptoms of depression that I feel, that homesickness even while you're already home. Such an insanely confusing feeling. Home is not a place but a feeling. I'm depressed too. When the body and mind you reside in isn't home because it's so uncomfortable, sometimes even unfamiliar to you, there is nowhere you can go to find home. Because that place doesn't exist, we won't find home until we find a way to make ourselves feel like home. Feel more like a version of us we actually like. I think this home everyone is referring to is actually our spiritual home. The place we will go when we die. We are not human beings living a spiritual life. We are spiritual beings living a human life. Colin. I agree. The other side is our true home. We are just here temporarily. This sounds like the opening of a story where you were actually destined to be a hero somewhere but got taken away and raised elsewhere. Maybe you're onto something there. There's a word for what home you're talking about and it's called hereith and it means longing for a home that you can't return to or that never was. I feel like that sometimes as well. I hope I helped. I feel like I want to go home. As in the next step of what comes after death. Whatever that is. I'm ready. I lost some close to me and I want to be wherever they are. With them. So death not here. Hopefully that's home. Did your home as a child feel like home? This quote from Garden State has always resonated with me a ton. You know that point in your life when you realize the house you grew up in isn't really your home anymore? All of a sudden even though you have some place where you put your crap, that idea of home is gone. You feel like you can never get it back. It's like you feel homesick for a place that doesn't even exist. Maybe it's like this rite of passage. You know, maybe that's all family really is. A group of people that miss the same imaginary place. This quote has stuck with me since the first time I watched Garden State. I came to the comments to see if anyone else has mentioned it. I get this 100%. I haven't had a proper sense of home in like 5 years now, if not a little longer. I've been hopping between apartments and temporary living situations and I've never truly settled down. I desperately just want to have a place that's my own. Where I can relax and know that this is my home and this is where I'm staying for a while. Same. I have stuff still packed away that I intend to hang on my walls but always have this feeling of oh well I'll wait until I settle somewhere so I don't put it up only to take it down later. I've been living in my apartment for 2 years. But I definitely feel like I'm waiting for that place I'm supposed to settle. 
My twin sister and I used to always say this I just want to go home. I feel like it's a yearning for comfort and safety. What I believe heaven or wherever we come from feels like. We suffered traumatic childhoods and as a result depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. She ended up taking her life 6 years ago. I will say, I still want to go home. I still miss my sister and desperately wish to be with her wherever she is. But I believe we should stick it out. I admit I've tried to commit suicide as well. Obviously did not succeed. I have crappy days I sob uncontrollably begging for a break. But my life is better than it was 6 years ago. I'm happier and healthier. I am sober and have a 2 year old daughter with my companion. Whom I desperately love and appreciate. Anyone who needs it today, let this be your sign to keep holding on. Even if just a few hours more, a day more, hang on, it can get better. I don't self mutilate anymore and I have stopped talking to myself like my abusers. I love myself. I think you can be happy too. I know you're exhausted and just wish to be loved and accepted as you are. I want you to know, you are. I care you're here. I accept you as you are. You're not a bad human. You're a human. We all do good and bad things. Doing something bad isn't the end of the world. You just need to change your behavior, not you as the unique individual you are. Smoking is bad for you. It doesn't make you bad. So no no matter what you've done, what has happened to you, these things do not define you. You can acknowledge your behavior, make efforts to change said behavior, and with enough practice, actually change your behavior and be the human you want to be. It gets better, human. I'm so sorry for your loss. But thank you for this, I'm really struggling lately and everything just feels so hopeless. Sounds like you've made some amazing progress and overcome some crap. Good for you. I'm glad you're in a better place now. I never felt at home anywhere else. There was always that feeling of not belonging here. This is not my place. These are not my people. I started talking to like-minded people online and I roll. And I cut out the toxic buttholes that just brought negativity and drama to my life. I bought a house that needed a ton of work and slowly I'm turning that into my sanctuary. I spend time working on me and my hobbies and I stopped caring about fitting it. I'm finally happy. I found my place and I think mostly that came from taking the time to figure out myself and what I like and who I am. I think this is pretty innate to humans. I've heard lots of people talk about this. I think it's clear we're made for a reason, and without a solid understanding of that reason we'll be left longing for more and wondering why. We were made for a reason and sitting in tiny cubicles working for material items ain't it? I've experienced this a lot too, especially when I was a little kid. My dad told me in his youth, he told his mother the exact same thing and she thought he meant home as in heaven and was going to kill himself. It's more like just wanting to be somewhere warm and comfortable where I don't have to pretend to be someone I'm not for me. So no, you're not alone. Here I is probably the right word for this. It's an Welsh word for the feeling like homesickness or longing for home, but on a deeper more spiritual level. Okay you really need to listen to this album called Ghost City by Delta Sleep. It's about that feeling. I remember when I found it, I was so happy because the lyrics so eloquently said everything I've always tried to say but couldn't find the words for. I've always had that feeling and it's really comforting to know that I'm not alone in my deep discomfort with the world. People like us are so rare, and all the best friends I've ever had share that same feeling. It's a desire to have meaning over money, power, or success that joins us together. That's so beautiful isn't it? I never thought anyone else felt this. I've literally sobbed because I want to go home but I don't have one. Not like I'm homeless. But this isn't home. IDK either. You have one. It's just maybe not on this earth. I get that way too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I've been feeling like that for as long as I can remember. I've always wanted to go home wherever that may be. You explained better than I have been able to. It's a terrible feeling. I hope you find it or the person who makes you feel home. I am with you buddy. Growing up with largely absent parents and always moving around really took away having a home for me. Being introverted. It's always been hard to make friends. Mostly, I joined extracurricular groups just to find somewhere to belong to. Sounds like we're the same person dude. We'll find our place. Whatever and wherever that might be. 
I left home at 18 to go to college, got an apartment after college, and then moved away for work. Now when I go back home, it doesn't feel like home anymore. My apartment certainly isn't home either. I'm just emotionally homeless now. I have something that's similar. My grandmother moved to assisted living a number of years ago, and the family went about liquidating her assets to pay for her care. That included selling the homestead, where my father and aunts and uncles grew up, and where I spend every Christmas Eve night, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, and Easter growing up, and it freaked me out that that part of my past might be sold to the highest bidder. I was so relieved when my aunt bought everyone out on the house, and moved in. Here's the weird part, though. Do I ever visit the house? Well, no, but just knowing it's still there and I can if I want to is enough. I feel exactly like this. Sometimes I'll say I want to go home, and I'm already at the place that I live but that's not what I mean. I don't have this feeling as much anymore, but I definitely remember feeling this in the past and wondering the same thing. I think it was growing pains for me. Teenage years when I felt the corruption of my innocence and wanted a return to the womb. Yes, I felt that my whole life up until I moved into where I live now only two and a half years ago. When you finally are home you will really feel it. It is an overwhelming feeling of comfort and peace. Look forward to it and always strive for it. I hope you find your home soon. When I was a child I used to keep saying I want to go home. But I remember thinking that doesn't make sense. I am home. I think I must have been trying to express something I couldn't express. Then again I also used to say I have a headache even when I didn't really have one. Just because something felt wrong and I didn't know what exactly or how to say it. I do it all the freaking time. It comes in different forms of thoughts. Too. Like every night when I look at the moon, I felt this strong urge to take a spaceship up there, or just literally wander at the expanse of the void. Sometimes, I feel like going somewhere, like in the middle of a meadow with flowers, my home being a small cottage with white picket fence, just me and the chirping of the birds and the sounds of nature. Sometimes I feel like literally going somewhere else, I feel so homesick, but where even is this home? 37 years and counting and still have not found home. I related to my mental health. I have borderline personality disorder and complex PTSD. And of course all the anxiety and depression that comes with them. I don't know if I will ever find that place. Yep. All the time. Usually I just try to let my mind wander. Lay down in bed. Turn the lights off. And just listen to music. Or play video games or watch a new or favorite movie. I totally get what you mean though. If you haven't so or anything being cuddled is the best feeling for feeling home. I don't know what it is but JT just makes you feel safe and cared for. It happened to me when I was really bad with my mood disorder. Sometimes I was just sitting in my bed with a hollow feeling and saying in my head I wanna go home. A lot of us go through that. I hope you feel better soon. I used to have a feeling like what you described and after mentioning it in therapy many times, my psychologist decided to go deeper and understand what it was. Ends up it was a childhood trauma from when my father died, I was 8 yo, and I carried it with me without knowing it was not normal to have. It came up more frequently, to the point it was disrupting my day, when my mom passed away a couple months ago. Now it's resolved and it's awesome to not have that feeling. I'm so glad you got to the bottom of that feeling and it's no longer causing you stress. I definitely have a lot of trauma I need to work through. Thank you for showing me it's not impossible. Depending on what you believe, this is often a symptom of being a wanderer. Essentially your soul is from another place and time space. It is a deep emotional longing for being back in the presence of your soul family. A feeling that cannot be satiated on this plane. Absolutely, I'm currently in college, but I dream to move down south to the outskirts of a big music city and work in the music field. I live in the middle of nowhere in terms of the music industry, and it just doesn't feel right. I usually feel at home whenever I visit my uncle's farm, so I know I want a farm, or at least a lot of land for off-roading, and I want to be in a place where music is huge. My home really isn't my home, and I haven't found my true home yet. Yes, ever since I was really little, I'd cry and scream I want to go home and my mom would be so confused. I still feel this way a lot. 
all the time. It's what led to me recklessly searching for an identity in my youth, and a depression that definitely aided in a failing marriage. I think now in my life I'm happier than I've ever been and although there will always be a part of that feeling existing, it's partially satiated. Oh yeah, that feeling is so awkward. Seriously, when I was still depressed, my first time on meds coincided with the first lockdown in my country, and I went completely crazy, felt like I didn't belong anywhere and yearned for somewhere else, which was supposedly in the sky for me I guess. I've always been fascinated by the act of flying, so I imagined that the place I really belonged to was here. I don't know for anyone else but it also triggered a big questioning about my gender, like I wasn't even in the right place inside my body. I've always felt this, and for years it was always there. I've traveled and it never really went away. Recently, I finally got my stuff together, cut out toxic family, and figured out what my home was. In my husband's arms, if he's holding me, I finally feel it. That place that makes me feel home and safe. It could be anywhere as long as he's there. Day after day, seems like I push against the clouds. They just keep blocking out the sun. It seems since I was born. I used to all the time. At first I thought I actually wanted to go home because it mostly happened at school but it happened at home too. All the time. I just wanted to feel comfortable and where I should be. The author C.S. Lewis wrote about his longing to get home in the book Surprised by Joy. He described the rare, sudden moments when he suddenly felt closer to home. Moments when he felt like he managed to pull the curtain back just for a second and glimpse the deeper meaning in life, as the moments that he was surprised by joy. I never realized until recently that other people had that thought too. I've had that feeling from time to time ever since I can remember. I think it's about wanting to escape from whatever bad feelings were affecting me at the time. Now as a person of faith I tie it to the idea that this world is only a temporary home and not a forever one. And the more involved I've gotten with that the less I actually have that feeling. Yes, I have dreams that are full of great people I don't know in reality but feel very close and connected to in my dreams. I have places dreams, towns, rivers, woods, farms, I am totally familiar with, yet have never been there in reality. I would like to explore this country to find these family faces and places. One can be uncomfortable in their skin. I think we all are to some degree too fat too skinny or more advanced I want to be a man woman. Also terribly uncomfortable I want to die. One can also be uncomfortable in their loves jobs families. To a lesser or greater degree. How uncomfortable is the impetus for change? Repairing or outward bound? I wrote I just want to go home in a journal when I was around 7 and I couldn't explain it, and you just did. I still think about that entry and why I wrote it, because it honestly just came out. Thank you. When I was very young, maybe 3 or 4 years old, I would always tell my mother that I wanted to go home when we were at home. NGL. I still feel like that sometimes and don't really know what is this home that I think about, but I hope one day I will be able to realize what it is. I realized a few years ago that when I'm inconsolably sad, like sobbing, gasping for air sad, all I can think is I want to go home. It doesn't matter where I am. I always thought it was because the longest I've ever lived in one house is was 4 years, so I don't really feel like I belong anywhere. It makes me sad that I feel that way, but I've never heard of anyone else having a similar experience. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.